the urologist Mauricio. Marty Brennis made it easy for us to take this video as part of his continuing medical education project and we can highlight, first of all, that he introduces an ultrasound transducer through the anus and observes the anatomy of the prostate through ultrasound. Then, using a very fine needle, a series of tissue samples are taken from the selected areas. Tissue samples are obtained by what we call prostate mapping, that is, they are helped by ultrasounds and suspicious-looking areas are chosen or where it is known that cancer appears more frequently. A series of random samples are then taken specifically from those locations. It is normally performed under local anesthesia without the need for sedation or general anesthesia. By simply applying a little local anesthesia to the sides of the prostate, we avoid any type of pain. Ultrasound is currently considered essential. Keep in mind that the prostate, being an organ located between the bladder and the rectum and surrounding the urinary tract, urethra, is impossible to see with the naked eye. Ultrasound, whether abdominal or transrectal, through the anus, allows us to know where the different tissue samples should be taken and thus obtain the best diagnostic performance. Performing a prostate biopsy usually takes between 15 and 30 minutes. Admission is not required after performing a prostate biopsy. Of course, it is necessary to keep a few hours of relative rest after the procedure. Today we have seen in the summary video the didactic recording of a single sample. Dr. Marty Brennis continued in the extraction of several prostate fragments and we want to thank his collaboration and his team for the making of this video.